Also Saturday, one of the most highly anticipated workshops of the entire conference was held. ASEE TV's Roberto Carmona was there. Dozens attended the 10th annual K-12 workshop. The aim to give teachers creative new ways to excite students about engineering. Let's check it out. We've got uh, engineering educators here today, people from higher education who are doing research and practice in K-12 schools. So we're sharing what we've learned as best practice so that we can help teachers implement not only the next generation science standards that include some aspects of engineering, but also engineering explicitly down to kindergarten. Most sessions are hands-on sessions, so you'll experience, you'll get a little bit of background on what the researcher or what the practitioner is doing. We're talking about the engineering habits of mind, which have been defined as systems thinking, collaboration, creativity, communication, ethics, and optimism. And we're doing two activities and showing teachers how they can assess whether their students are exhibiting those habits of mind, which are uniquely engineering. One thing that I thought was particularly interesting was this model eliciting activities that the University of Minnesota is doing. And one was um, to get a robot to basically paint a picture but without seeing the picture. And you have to make a list of assumptions about what the robot knows and then everything else you have to teach it. And then this one, the one that I liked, is she gave us a paper, a straw, tape and scissors and you're supposed to make a rocket that goes on the end of the straw and you have to blow it out with one breath and so she put a piece of tape on the ground and you're going to blow it out and then when it lands it kind of makes a scatter plot so you can tie that into like graphing and like how are different ways you can graph information. It's important first of all to collaborate with other people. I um, met someone in the first one that sent me to this one. We get ideas from the workshops just to give you a, a, a base of things that can be done in the room that's different than a textbook. I really think it's important to get out the word that engineering educators are key to this discussion. That as engineers, I as a practicing engineer in industry, and I've worked in education now for 15 years, I've worked the job, I understand how to explain to teachers how to do engineering, and it takes engineering educators to do that so that kids really understand what engineers do. Today's event was sponsored by Dassault Systems.